Hi, I'm Jane Casey, and I'm going to read you a short extract from my new novel, The Killing Kind. There was no sign of Belinda or my umbrella when I got back to the robing room, but the rain had stopped. My hearing had gone well, and Niall Hyde had been pleased enough to clap me on the shoulder afterwards. Good job, lassie. See you soon. The last traces of my hangover had even disappeared in a glow of satisfaction. There was a definite spring in my step as I bowled out of the court building, or tried to. The elderly security guard was leaning through the door, eyeing the traffic that was nose to tail up the street. What's going on? Accident down on Ludgate Circus. Pedestrian went under a lorry. Oh dear, I said inadequately. Were they... I should think it was fatal. Happened a while ago and the traffic has been like this ever since. Backed up all the way to Hobart and Aldwych from what I've heard. I shuddered. I never take a risk with crossing that road. No, you wouldn't want to. Happens every year. Don't expect the rain helped. He shook his head, his eyes watering. Everyone in too much of a hurry these days. That's what it is. I nodded, not having much to add to that and being in a hurry myself because I had a case to prepare for the following day. I set off past the stalled traffic, thinking about work as I emerged from Old Bailey onto Ludgate Hill. I spared a glance for the imposing portico of Wren's Cathedral because what was the point of living in London if you couldn't nod to the classical grandeur of St Paul's when you passed it? Then I headed down towards Ludgate Circus at a brisk pace, calculating the detour I would need to make if it was still closed off. There was a crowd of onlookers massed on the pavement. Because of the steep hill, I had a grandstand view of the lorry stopped in the middle of the intersection and the tent that was propped up against the front of it, hiding God knows what. I had prosecuted a death by dangerous driving once and had learned enough about processing the scene to be able to understand what was going on. There was a cordon manned by grim-faced City of London police that extended around the entire junction and officers in fluorescent jackets were engaged in measuring distances and taking photographs. Circles of spray paint indicated where pieces of evidence had landed across the carriageway. A fatal accident, as the security guard had thought. Someone wouldn't be going home that night. They would never be home again. Reality was doing a good job of obliterating my good mood. I skirted the cordon, making for Blackfriars, where I would be able to cross. I stopped dead. A circle of paint had caught my attention, in spite of myself. It was maybe twenty feet in front of the truck, in the middle of the road. It was sprayed around a shoe that had fallen on its side. The paint and leather was cloudy with scratches, but it was still recognisably the same shoe that Belinda had been wearing earlier. High heel pointed toe. No mistake. I hope you enjoyed that. The Killing Kind is available now from all Easton's stores and online at easton's.com.